welcome. We're back from heavy rain. I forgot part this is. Oh God, frames I didn't do exist. it. I swear I didn't do it. I've got nothing to do with that business. I never killed nobody. Oh, no. Then why did you run away when they came to question you? Yeah, buddy. Why? I already told you I forgot to report to my parole officer. I didn't want to go back to prison. When I saw the cops, I just bolted. I wasn't thinking straight. We checked out his statement. He has an alibi for at least three of the murders. Fuck, that bastard was a perfect fit. Shit! Ring, ring, bitches. Ash? Okay. Just me and my mic. Didn't mean to do that, people. I'm retarded over Carla. Sure, Moss's mother is here. She'd like to speak with you. It was okay. a few months back. The middle of the night. It was pouring down. Ethan came home completely drenched at about three. I asked him where he'd been. He, uh, he spoke about drowning the rain. Um... He didn't make any sense. There was something. Something in his eyes. As if it wasn't really him. There may be no connection, but the next day there was that announcement about another victim of the origami killer. You little rat. That's interesting, huh? I'm Police Lieutenant Carter Blake, and this is Agent Norman Jaden of the FBI. According to our information, Ethan Mars is one of your patients. We'd like to ask you a few questions about him. I'm sorry, that's impossible. I beg your pardon? I'm bound by an oath of secrecy. Under no circumstances may I discuss my patients. My job is to find Sean Mars alive, and I don't give a damn about any bullshit oath. Uh... It's your duty to inform the police if you suspect one of your patients, Doctor. I'm sorry. I can't help you. And now I must ask you to leave. You need to cooperate. For your own sake. I know you don't want to protect the murderer. If you know anything, you must tell us, Doctor. Are you threatening me? I'm just giving you some free advice, Doc. I suggest you take it. Blake, that's enough. Let's get out of here. I am going to call the police and make a complaint about your behavior. Doctor, you are really pushing my buttons. The only thing I'm interested in is saving that kid's life. So, you're gonna be a good boy and tell me what I want to know or I am really gonna lose my temper. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Back off, Jaden. This Let guy knows something, me. and I'm not leaving here until you he were, tells me what it is! You have no right! <laughs> oh, damn, Blake! Okay. Blake, Blake's got anger issues. Come on, Doc. There's an easy way and a hard way. It's your fucking choice. If you don't let go of this man immediately, I'll report you and you'll be off the case. What the hell's the matter with you, Norman? It's not the one I meant cold to hit. Feet? You don't want to save Sean Mars anymore? I want to save Sean Mars just as much as you do, but that doesn't give me all rights. So you're going to stop this shit right now. Ethan Mars has had psychological problems since his first son died. Feels responsible for his death. A sort of morbid neurosis. He is haunted by visions of drowning bodies. A few weeks ago, after one of our usual sessions, I found this on the floor. He must have fallen out of his pocket. Blake's an asshole, man. He's going around punching therapists. You can't be doing that. It's illegal, man. 
I got a trophy called the good cop. Yeah, I'm a good cop. Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding Ethan Mars. I want a man outside his place day and night. Notify all agencies to start looking for him. I want you to keep an eye on the train stations, the airports, the bus terminals. I want every cop in the city on his ass, so that if he moves, we know about it. Yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Origami. I thought it was that one guy. I don't know no more, I swear. Oh, that's uh thumbnail. Oh <coughs> God. I still died, people. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Thursday, 7 a.m. 2.992 inches of rain. This guy's probably some gaff. By the way, people, when Wolfenstein Youngblood comes out, I will be doing a walkthrough on that. The most exclusive golf club in town. So. Strange place for an appointment. I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Big stick, little ball. Never could see the point of this game. My ears did you help me? Oh, Lord Jesus. Well, well. An old friend. I wonder what we're going to talk about. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? Oh, no thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damaging the greens here. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Oh, I'm gonna destroy you, kid. You know me now, bro. The balls are in that basket. Here we go, loosen up, stretch. Gotta be stretched, no. Give me uh give me one of these. You ain't gotta get a what else there we go, that thing. What are those are called? Tees, I think. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Oh, here we go. Now, let's get that footwork going. Scratch my eye real quick. Here we go. Fuck, I fucked it up! God, I suck. Well, it's only your first ball. You should no. try to strike it a little harder next time. My dog barking. Assuming you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. No. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. Bro, I'm gonna crush this ball. You wait for it. Pretend it's the head of the origami killer. Here we go. Oh! There we go. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. You have no business investigating my son. I told you, he had nothing to do with it. Okay, well, I mean, he kind of admitted to it. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Are you tell him. Bitch! That's going 9,000 meters. Nope, I lied. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby. And I pay very well for loyalty. Are 
Are you trying to buy me? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your interest lies. How much do you want to leave my son alone? I think you misunderstood me. I don't play that game. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. If you do, you'll regret it. Um, okay. Have we'll a nice see. day, Mr. Kramer. Remember, press the indicated button repeatedly until it disappears. Number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King salad is somebody's nasty foot fungus. You are a legend, if you know where that's from. Well, eat the party of the uh, origami killer, so... Oh, that's nice. This place doesn't look like I'm going to be murdered in here. Bro, it looks like something out of PT. Porcelain lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat up stuff. coming back. Drugs are beginning to wear off. There's been a fire in here. Everything is all burned up. Still feeling weak. I can hardly stand. Where are you, Sean? 9711 Marble Street. It's the right place, but what am I supposed to do in this dump? It's a snake porcelain. Oh, another porcelain lizard, huh? Is that in it, or... This is weird. By the way, oh, a key. By the way, I apologize. You just heard buzzing my mic this whole episode. I had my controller plugged in. I didn't even realize it. Well. This is totally normal. Yeah, watch the weird iPad on the table. It's a good idea. So confused. Besides that, or nope, guess not. Nope. Let's watch this. Press play the Pornhub community thing, please. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You no. have five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. Is this a saw if you movie? Succeed, you will get your reward. Bro, this is actually a Saw movie. Oh, are you fucking serious? Gotta find a sharp object, something that'll make a clean cut. I don't want to have to start hacking away at it. The pain's gonna be intense. Gotta find some way to reduce it. Sit down real quick. Cut off a finger? No way! This is fucking nuts! I can't do it! I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this. No, you don't. I can't cut off my own finger. I, I just can't do it. I want to save Sean. I'd do anything. 
anything but that. I might just be able to get through this if I make the right choices. There's got to be a way to do this. Five minutes. I've got five minutes to cut off my finger. Got to decide now. I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. This could all go horribly wrong. I'm not going to save my son by dying here. Uh, this is gonna be great. Can I set this down on the table? Set that down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the uh, butcher's map in here. Oh, this is fucking crazy, dude. This is a Saw movie. When did this turn into a Saw movie? Well. Drink this first, I guess. Freaking chug it. This is a horrible idea. I know that lady should have. Oh yeah, here we go, boys. Fucking let's get this shit. Let's do it for Sean. Ethan, for Sean. Cutting a finger off. This is something I'll oh, fuck. Do it. You have three minutes and thirty seconds left. Yeah, you don't need a pinky. Pinkies are not that important, honestly. Oh my god! Damn! Now that's some dedication right there. <laughs> Bitch, I swear you better not be lying to me! I did. <laughs> the pain! My finger! My finger! Either I feel bad for you, man. Your son's kidnapped. Everybody thinks you're the origami killer, man. What's this? Fucking shit. Couldn't you have just done that the whole time? Couldn't you have actually just done that the whole time? Am I missing something? Okay, I mean, sure, dude. there Sean not Sean Ethan we're almost Ethan we're almost close to getting Sean there we go that was crazy probably do one more chapter mission thing and then I'll end this episode really like this game though it's fun it's fun. It's got a good story. I like it. You've unlocked a new bonus. We'll go look at those two. Oh, God. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. 
Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in here? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't oh, match that? the killer's psychological uh, profile. Is that I know what the jury's gonna choose Broke between your enemies. theories and concrete proof. What the fuck is that girl doing there? If Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. We gotta go get Ethan, man. We gotta do it. The police. They staked out the building where Ethan is. We gotta get him, man. We gotta warn him, man. Man, girl. Oh shit. Oh, He's going the inside. He should live there. Mm. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police. They're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. What's he up to in there? We've got to get out of here fast. Wait for a go on my word. He looks bad. What happened? No point in trying to get upstairs. Dead end on the roof. We'd be trapped. A solution. There's got to be a solution. Come on. Think of something. Think Wait, of something fast. Some. I go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Oh, Two fuck. men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Oh, shit. Hurry up, Massive. God damn it. Come on, let's go this way. Ethan, hurry up. Look, Ethan, I know you cut your pinky off, but that... Dude, come on. Oh my god, that was close. Hey, you, don't move. I'll shoot. Come on, quick. Ethan, move. I can't. Hands in the air. Yes, you can, Ethan. Shut up. Lieutenant, there's a man and a woman exiting the alley. A woman? Shit! It's that girl who went in! Everybody downstairs! They're in the alley! Follow them! The subway. Hold on a second, people. It's a, oh god. It's a bad deal. Come on, Ethan, let's get this. Don't move! Fuck. Damn it! Oh, I could have got better. <coughs> that could have got really better. Why'd that go so wrong? God, I suck.
Oh, damn. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. Hands up. It's the popo. I have no idea how long I've been recording for. I'm not, I'm not here to judge it. you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. Tell me what you know. Sincere. I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't believe you're guilty. I know that sounds strange, but I have my reasons. But you are gonna have to help me to prove your innocence because the odds are stacked against you. Ethan, say something, for God's sake! Or die, Ethan. You've lost, Ethan. What will you gain with one more victim? Huh? I kidnapped my son. But I can't remember what happened. I don't know where he is. But the only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. You don't remember anything, but you think you're the origami killer. I'm sorry, Ethan, but you're gonna have to do a lot better than that if you want me to believe you. Oh, well. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here, Sean is going to die. Time's running out, Ethan. And frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. I would already have saved him if I knew where he was. Mm. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? I told you, I don't know. Ah! Wow. Even if he is a killer, that doesn't give you the right to beat him. Whose side are you on, Norman? Are you defending this piece of shit? A little bit. I'm defending the law, and the law says he is innocent until proven guilty. This guy's got no rights, do you hear me? No rights at all! You're a real asshole, you know that? Bitch. Oh, okay. You wanna play games, asshole? Come on. Let's play a little game. Damn. You're dude. out of your mind, Blake. This is gonna cost you your badge. You better get the hell out of here, Norman. Before I give in to the temptation of painting the walls with your fucking brains. Um, I'm good. Fuck you, bitch. That asshole has gone too far this time. That bastard is gonna beat a confession out of Mars. He just wants a culprit, even if it's the wrong guy. That is not the way it's gonna go. I'm gonna tell the whole story to Captain Perry. Where's Captain Perry at? Move, you bitch! Oh my god, move! Fucking 
the NPCs, I can ask. I forget what kind of pair is that. You know, it'd be really great if I could get some hints on where to go. Oh, never mind. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of Ethan Mars. You've got to do something! Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God damn! Ethan Mars is innocent! We've got to get back to looking for Sean if we're to have any chance of finding him alive! This case has worn you out, Norman. Oh you my need god. Some time off to think it through. I'm good. Fucking PlayStation's retarded. Is that drugs I'm doing? Is that like drugs or something? Well, shit. Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Yeah. Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. That would be. That would suck. Oh, I got my... On Mars again. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. The hell is this? 
A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. You know what? Could it be the killer's car? Could it be? We never know. Bro, well, I'm having, this is fun, I like this game. No data. Well, sneaker doodles. No data, are you serious right now? Origami. Pity we can't see the driver's face. Yeah, that is a pity. You hate to see it. You just hate to see it. No geo, no data for geo analysis, okay? <coughs> Philip D. The car Campbell. was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, well. but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. No data? Okay. By the way, I might record for over an hour because I don't know how long I've been recording for. So if this recording just ends randomly in the middle of something, you know what happens. But I'll keep on recording for until I that Jackson time. Neville, aka Mad Jack. That's a face and a half involved right in there. several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. Damn! This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. You never know, he could have. I got another trophy, Ludwig Vaughn. Well, people, I'm going to end when I'm, I'm not going to end this. I'm going to go look at the concept art first that we got. Now, if it's a video, like if it's a... Uh, a concept video. I can't watch it because last time I did, it got copyright claimed. That was fun to deal with. Let's go back to the main menu. Yes. Let's look at our bonuses. It's gonna have music.